Hi, my name is Laura Guthrie and I'm the on-site trainer here at Golden Quest. Today I have with me Angel, Tattoo KW7. Angel is an 11-week-old Golden Doodle here from Golden Quest and she has been in training. This is her second week. Uh, it's not been a full week yet since we're coming into the holidays. We're doing our video a little earlier than normal so that way we can get it to you guys on time um, before I take off for the holidays. And this Angel gets to have some fun doggy playtime. Um, yeah, so we're going to go show you what she's been learning. Now, just like every, uh, every human, dogs are also individuals, as you know, so they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, they each excel in their own way, and they have some shortcomings, too, so it just it depends on the learning curve. She's actually doing fairly well with some of her things, and others, there are things we struggle with. Um, so you'll just, you'll, we'll see where we're at, and yeah, okay, you sit. Yes, thank you. Good. Good job. Good. Free. Yes. Off. You touch. Yes. Good job. Down. Good girl. Yes. Good down. Yes, good pumpkin. Good. Free. Angel. Sit. Yes. Stay. Yes, good girl. Good job. Good. Well done. Stand. Yes. Good girl. Good girl, ready? You placed? Yes! I'm so excited for the plays! Oh, look who! The girl! Yes! Good place! Yes! This is good girl! Free! Oh, I hear some jealous Nellies out there. Yeah, they want their turn. Good girl, Angel. Good job. Angel, come! Yes! Good job, Funkin! Well done! Oh, goodness. Someone's being very loud about it, aren't they? You crate. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Free. Good girl. Angel. Good girl. Yes. Good job. Free. Good girl. Angel. Angel, come here. Good job. Angel, you look. Yes, good job. Good look. Good job, let's get some more. Yeah. Leave it. Good, yes, good, leave it. Good job, let me get that one up. Yeah, it's a good girl. Good job, pumpkin. Okay, so as you can see, Angel is struggling a bit with her stays um, in terms of me being able to go to a far distance away from her and length of time. So right now to keep her built for success, I've been doing it in short increments at short distances. That way she can slowly at her own pace climb the ladder because if I, if I try to go full throttle and leave her side for a very far distance and try to leave it for a very long length of time, 
I'm gonna make her anxious and her want to come follow me. So I'm doing it at her pace. And right now, that's pretty much how, what her pace level is, which is perfectly fine. Like I said, they're all individuals. Like you saw with Crate, she's going in it pretty well. Um, place, she loves play, so that's gonna be great. Touch, learn that really quick. Look, sometimes we're struggling. She thinks that she has to keep continuously jumping. That's fine. As long as she's getting the idea that it's eye contact, we're good there. Um, like you saw with the heel, she's still doing good off leash heel. We're introducing those auto sits. She's doing pretty well with them. I definitely think some more time will give her the opportunity to become better at all of these things I've been mentioning. I mean, it's just, it's her age. She's learning. She's trying her best to focus. Sometimes she gets easily distracted. Again, that's very normal. Um, when it comes to being on leash, still struggling a little bit. She finds the leash very weird. Uh, so we're still trying to make that a slow integration into our healing process because I want her to build up that reward history with the position of the heel and the automatic sits and I don't want the leash tainting her view of the heel itself um, as of yet so we've been really focusing on her off leash heel and keeping that up. As you saw with her recall she listens to both her name and the word come she's doing really well with those two. Her sit she's a little bouncy about um, and her down, sometimes she needs me to kind of tap her, um, her legs to remind her that that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the whole body down. But other than that, um, she's doing the best she can, and she has been trying. She does try during our training session, so that's the most important thing. I definitely think you'll see an improvement if we decide to go with another week um, worth of training, just because right now she's still struggling. Otherwise, when she does come home, Obviously, because of the job you're looking for her to continue on with, um, it's going to be definitely important for, for her to continue training daily. And being at home is going to help that. Oh, excuse you. Could you burp? Excuse you. Uh, all in all, she's doing fairly well. She's pretty self-confident, which is a great quality to have when you're looking for the service dog work. Um, for service dog work. And... Um, we had a bath today and she did pretty well with that. She wasn't too bothered by it. I even used a hair dryer on her. Although she wasn't particularly a fan of it, she did um, behave rather well with it. But all in all, she's doing pretty well personality-wise and I can foresee her becoming um, a rather good service dog with some more training and consistency and clear communication and socialization. All those things are going to play an important role in her going to be a good helper. But. I mean, right now, she's doing, her foundation is doing well, and that's all we can ask. So, we'll see you guys later. Say Merry Christmas. Say bye-bye. Yeah, that's right. Good girl.